All right, in this video, we're putting trim on this thing. We're gonna go around the edges. Um, I have some trim. I got this trim. I think it's like one inch. Oh, some sort of camper trim. I don't know. I'll put the link in the description. Got it from eBay. I got a whole bunch of it. I think 10 sticks of it. Um, I'm going to take these all up around the edges. Go up to here. Go on the, you know, the 45. 45 again. All the way up. All the way down. Another cut. I was making some test cuts to make sure I have my angles right. All the way down. Another angle all the way down. And then on the bottom, I can't put this because this would have to go under the bottom. So I, on the bandsaw, I chopped off that bottom edge on a few of those sticks. As you can see, the edge isn't perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with silicone just to kind of prevent a little, you know, space being in there um, so that water could sit. Then I'm going to put this on the edge so that way it looks a lot better. And I'll go around and it'll just match. So I want to do the bottom first so that way I can get the wheels and stuff on it. But I'm going to come over here, go across the front the same way. But uh, so spots like this, I'm going to put some clear silicone on where the bed liner didn't make a really good seal. It's probably fine, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. But yeah, clear silicone, put these on here, and then I'm gonna make the top butt up against here. So let's get started. All right, Riley from the future here. I don't explain very well in this next clip what I'm doing, but I went ahead and did the right side of the camper before I recorded anything just so I could get a rhythm down, but I will be showing you exactly how I did it on the other side. But this next clip is just kind of an update. All right, here's an update on the side here. We have the, uh, the trim along the bottom, up, edge, and back. I went ahead and slid the door on. Uh, it's been like a couple days since I've worked on this, but, uh, I went ahead and put the hurricane hinge on there, this trim, cut the angles, and down here I have the trim on. Basically, all these 45 degree angles here, you just got to cut a 22 and a half degree angle on the stock and it fits. Measuring it, I didn't really measure it, I got close with a pencil. And then I just snuck up on it by just making a lot more chops on the saw and till it just kept test fitting it after each cut. And I might have had to make five or ten cuts on each piece, but it's better than cutting it short. So what I did is I would cut my first piece and get it on here. And then I would hold this piece here and check my fitment. And then if I needed to cut some off, I just cut some off the bottom, put the piece up on there, test fit it again until I found what I liked. Siliconed it. I put silicone along all the edges, stuck it up on there and screwed it in. Then what I'll do is I'd make a 22 and a half degree cut, stick it on here, go up here, and use this piece again for test fitting. After I make that 22 and a half degree cut, test fit, test fit, test fit until I liked it. Sin it. Same thing here. All right. So what I do is I take a mark and I kind of uh, draw it at an angle so I kind of know what angle. To cut at just kind of help me out but the bottom of this piece of wood is also or not piece of wood trim is flat so it's just a straight 90 degree cut but I have the saw set at 22 and a half degrees at the correct angle and what I want to do is I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger than I was marking so if you notice I have two marks one was like where I think it's at the other one's a little bit bigger so that way I know it's because I want to sneak up on the cut so what I want to do first is just make this cut Just make sure you wear safety glasses on that cut. But as you can see, I have that 22 and a half degree cut. Now let's go see how well it fits. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm pushing it up against the bottom. And you can see that that cut is obviously too big. Whoops. But like I said, you can obviously see that that piece right there is cut way too tall. But this piece right here will help us confirm that. See, those should line up perfect. So this is straight, this is on this plane, and those should kind of match up. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go cut probably an eighth inch off the bottom of that. Just a 90 degree cut off the bottom and we'll see where that puts us. All right, so that 90 degree cut is cut. Still looks a little tall, but we're getting closer. So I'm gonna go make another cut. Well, so that cut's made. We're getting there, it's very close. So it's just gonna be just a hair more off the bottom. So let's go make a third cut. All right. That looks a little better. Look at that. That's pretty darn close right there. I don't think I can get much closer than that. So then now what I want to do is I'll go get some silicone, put it on the bottom of this, and screw it in. So I have pure 100% silicone. And usually what I do is I just run it down either side. Now, but now that we have that, we just put it on the side here. Then I need to get my little test piece, double check that everything looks good. And if it does, I wanna get some screws and screw it in. So the screws tend to make it wanna move a little bit. So just be careful with that. Now after I get that first screw in, I'll check it again. Looks good. Maybe go on the other side, put a screw in. I put quite a bit too much silicone on here, but this is all gonna be behind the uh, toolbox, or most of it is, and it's honestly clear silicone, and I'd rather have too much silicone than not enough. All right, now to start on the next piece, I wanna go get a piece of uh, metal, cut that 22 and a half degree an angle in it to match this, cut it a little long, and then just keep sneaking up on that 22 and a half degree angle there until it meets up with this one. So, let's go try it. So I got the angle cut on a long piece of metal here, it's here, kind of mark the angle about how it's supposed to be cut. Put one that's a little longer than it needs to be. And I'll go cut that. All right, and to test fit, get it down there solid. Check this piece, that one's way off. So I wanna go cut a good bit off of this one. All right, make sure it's fit down there. Sneak up on this one. Getting closer. Oh, we're real close now. All right, barely any more off of there. Look at that. So now, we just need to put the uh, epoxy, or not the epoxy, the silicone on there and stick it on. Silicone's on there, yet again, probably put too much. Looking good. All right, you get the basic idea. Basically, I cut the one angle, then I just sneak up on the next angle using my little test piece. I wanna keep doing the same thing all the way down. Uh, I'm basically gonna do the top piece again. What I wanna do here is I'll make this piece next, and then I'll use my little test jig piece to kinda of line it up until I get this little piece the way I want it. Then I wanna make the top piece and make sure, just keep cutting it until it fits. Then I'll show you what I do when I cut here, so. I'll probably catch up with you when I'm right here. All right, so I have everything but that piece right there left. So 
I'm still not measuring at all when I do this. So what I'm going to do is I take this and I butt it up against there. Then I kind of look over the top and kind of mark. So I'm going to go up there and I marked it where that hurricane hinge, it, hurricane hinge ends. I've transferred my mark to the bottom so that way I can cut this chunk out on the, the band saw. And then I'll show you what that looks like after I'm done. All right, so I cut that chunk out there. It's got a little bit of a sharp edge here, but that'll be all right. We'll cover it up with silicone. But I can't quite get it up in there because that hurricane hinge is hitting the top here. So what I have to do is I have to kind of notch this out, this area, so that way it can reach up in there. So I want to go notch that out. So that's what that kind of looks like. It's not the prettiest thing, but I think I might I'll cover it up with the the sealant and stuff and the the weather stripping. That's what I was looking for. But now it fits up in there pretty perfect. Everything's kind of covered up. I can see that that hurricane hinge is going to rotate just fine. The only problem now is if you look down here. All right, so I did the same thing about once I got this up in here, I kind of snuck up on this joint here, but I kind of overcut it a little bit. It's taking too big of jumps. But I think what I'll do is I'll just leave the gap up there because it'll look better than having a gap down here. And then what I'll do is I have some black silicone. I'll fill in some of those spots with some black silicone anyway. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put some silicone on this, screw it in, and we'll be ready to move on to the back door. All right, I don't know how I want to do this back piece yet, but but I have this metal that will wrap around the edges. I think what I'm going to do is put that bottom piece in first, measure how big the door is, add however much the width of this is times two, and then put 45s on there and see if I can't get something to match up. I'll probably go bigger first, and then that way I can kind of creep up on the 45s a little bit, but... I think I'm going to have to just kind of do this and then I'll catch up with you whenever I figure out how I'm going to do it. All right, I think I have the rest of the trim around the door complete. This is the part where I either get really discouraged or really excited. So we'll see. I'm hoping it goes in straight and doesn't break anything. It looks like it needs to come over this way a little bit. We'll not have to try to find a way to make sure it stays going up and down straight, but that looks right to me. So here we go. Here comes disappointment. nothing cracked that's 50% of it well I don't know it's probably all right you can see this is pretty tight all the way down through there here it gets a little bit of a gap can't really see yeah right there but I think I'll be able to pull that in with the latches like with the like the little latches to lock it I'm pretty happy with it so I think that's where we're gonna end this video all the trim is on uh, except for maybe a, some black or maybe a piece of black up there just to kind of make it look a little better but everything is on and one step closer to getting this thing done so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I'll see you in the next one and I'll probably be start doing some electrical stuff so peace out